a little less than a year ago, about two weeks into the season, yes. I asked you and Bruno about the Court of Owls. Right. How pissed off were you that I figured that out that early? <laughs> you know, I was not, pissed off is not the right word. I was like, huh. Surprised? <laughs> Mildly annoyed, I would say. You know, it's like you want to lay those breadcrumbs, right. but you're always hoping that the people are going to see the breadcrumbs after the fact. They're going, oh, they planned it out like that. But you figured, well done. We're, we're a little obsessive here I at Comic-Con. I get it. I get it. It's fine. Uh, now that you... Okay. Now that, you, <laughs> now that you got to plant those seeds and you got to do the, the reveal in the last yep. couple episodes, uh-huh. uh, how, how full force is the court going to be in, in season three? Is it, are they still going to be really back behind the scenes or are we going to see really? We are going to, we'll, we'll see them much more clearly in the first couple few episodes of the year. Okay. And then they're going to retreat again and then be really full force in the second half of the year. So that sounds like we're getting talent either in that first couple episodes of the year. Or what? <laughs> Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Uh, obviously, everyone was talking about doppelganger Bruce. Yes. At the end what? of the season. What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, you, you didn't. You didn't see that? Yeah. So David has a second character now. Wow. Do we have to pay him too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Twice. You got it. Uh, <laughs> so doppelganger Bruce. What? Yeah. What can you tease? Uh, you, David was uh, very careful. You don't have to yell at him. Um, yeah. He was very careful and, and basically just said that he does feel like this character is coming from a place of good intentions. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would you say, <laughs> I would say, you know, I, I think he's a conflicted character. I will also say that he was created for a very specific reason. So, whether Doppelganger Bruce uh, knows what his mission is or not, he definitely has a mission, which okay. he will discover. From from a certain court of yeah yeah from somebody yeah 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 possibly yeah <laughs> what yeah. Uh, what is a third season I, no point in talking to me Just interview yourself <laughs> <laughs> what does the third season uh, allow you to do that the first two didn't now that you've really gotten to lay the, gr- the groundwork and right. figure out what your Gotham is well you know it, what it really allows you to do in many ways uh, is uh, and this sounds like a pat answer and I apologize for it but it allows you to like to delve into the characters more because you feel like after you've done 44 episodes you've built up a certain amount of just like audience trust and I also feel like the audience is uh, has a great deal of affection for these characters now so you can tell stories that are much more about them just really interacting with one another and them changing so it, every week doesn't have to be about the big bad who's out there. Right. It can be about them moving uh, against one another or with one another. So I think that's more exciting. You, you really just get to learn more about them. Yeah, the longer story arcs of season two seem to play really well. Yeah, and we extend that in season three. I would say the story, we've made the show even more serialized in season three. Um, and everybody goes through a major character metamorphosis in the course of the year. So... Are you doing the same thing you did last year where you're kind of doing 11 and 11? Kind of split it doesn't quite split. work that way. Uh, we're doing 11 in the fall, and then there's three episodes in January, and then we're doing the final uh, run of seven episodes like in the spring. Oh, okay. It's kind of an odd shape. But those three episodes yeah. have a particular... Yes. They have a, they, yeah, they have a, a, a particular... It's not a self-contained story because it extends what happens in the fall, but it is a ended story, so you'll, we'll arc it out. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. Uh, any, any one character that you're just really looking forward to this season because, whether it's someone brand new yeah. or, or one of the previous characters because they're just doing something totally different? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, so many of the characters. I, the Penguin Enigma story this year, I think, is like just drop dead. It's just amazing. I think it's going to play really, really well. And I find the Jim Lee story that we're playing this year, too, really moving. I think it's really going to it's gonna be gang, gangbusters. So. Awesome. And Sirens. Yeah, and the sirens out there—they are a hoot. They are great. It's every time the sirens are on screen, they do something outrageous. So it's great. So we just found out that we're we're launching a campaign called hashtag Butch Sings the Blues. <laughs> oh, really? So we want we want we want a song for Butch. Yeah. Is that, is that... So Butch has his own song, like a theme yeah, song, yeah. or or that he gets to sing maybe at sirens. Oh, I love that! Like like Butch doing the lounge singing. Yeah. Oh, that's great. He has to hold the microphone in this. Maybe he can have a microphone hand. Yeah, a microphone, microphone attachment. attachment. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Outstanding. Thank you so much, Sean. My